Now today, of course, we've been seeing people rush to get groceries and even over the last couple days in anticipation of this big ice storm. But grocery store officials telling us they are prepared. They'll keep their doors open and keep restocking shelves. KXAN's Caitlin Carmoot explains why they insist you will not see issues that we saw last year. There are some tough decisions being made at the grocery store. We were supposed to have tortellini soup tonight and uh, there's no tortellinis, <laughs> no sausage, no celery. Tortellini uh, soup is a no-go for Corbin Fields. Many others are also changing plans. We pivoted. We're going to have to have chili tonight. <laughs> As the shelves look bare Wednesday evening at the AGBs across our area, people are remembering this. PTSD is definitely a... Uh, a part of it. I think uh, people were caught off guard last year. AGB's headquarters says you may find essentials like water out of stock, but it's only temporary. They plan to restock the shelves throughout the winter storm. We have uh, closed our e-commerce business for tomorrow for Thursday. So that's for delivery and drive up and go. At Randall's, you can expect a later start by two hours come Thursday morning. In order to prepare for what's ahead, Randall's backed up deliveries at its warehouse to get more products directly to stores. We're already working on the other side of the storm as well to get more deliveries scheduled for Friday, weather permitting for Saturday. And we've opened up receiving for our stores on Sunday. That's typically a day we would not receive product. However, we've opened up this coming Sunday so the stores can receive that product. And grocery stores and their customers are hopeful lines like this don't happen this time around. We actually made a bet with my buddy that uh, we'd see how long it would take us to get in and out. And uh, I ended up winning the bet with three hours and 35 minutes. So I won 10 bucks, so it wasn't bad. Caitlin Carmoot, KXCN News. Not bad. Randall's shut down its delivery services for Thursday, and that includes its delivery, drive up and go services. Now they have not yet made a decision for Friday. And we did check in with several delivery services about whether they will still operate this week. Shipped, a grocery delivery app says so far it hasn't canceled services, but it is in contact with retailers and updates can be found on the shipped app. And DoorDash told us it's closely monitoring conditions from local officials and it may temporarily pause operations to keep employees safe.